What is pollen-pistil interaction? Pollen-pistil interaction is characterized by occurrence of step-by-step -step events which occurs usually before the double fertilization. And these activities or step-by-step -step events are occurring after the successful pollination. Hence, we can say that pollen-pistil interaction is a post-pollination event occurring in sexually reproducing flowering plants. Now, what happens during the post-pollination events called pollen-pistil interaction? Now, not all the pollination will not guarantee successful transfer of right type or genetically compatible or genetically matching type of pollen grains onto the stigma of pistil. Pistil is having ability to recognize pollen grains. Whenever there is deposition of fry type of pollen grains onto the stigma of pistil, it recognizes the right type of pollen grain and accept it. On the other hand, wrong type of pollen grain or pollen grain which are foreign or which are of other species of plant will not be accepted and these are considered wrong type. Unhealthy pollen grain is also a wrong type which will not undergo successful pollen germination. So wrong type of pollen grain grains will be rejected by the pistil. Pollen-pistil interaction is usually a chemical mediated process. So it is usually occurring with the help of different biochemicals present within the pollen and pistil. So starting from the recognition of compatible pollen grain is chemical process, is involving chemicals and in a way there is chemical signaling occurs between the pollen and pistil. Only the right type of pollen grain will be accepted and undergo germination to form pollen tube through the pistil, through the style, through the ovary and enters into the ovules and then enters into the embryo sac. So we can say that pollen pistil interaction is post pollination event which is comprised of different events different consecutive events wherein there is deposition of pollen grains onto the stigma and there is process of recognition occurring and after the recognition of compatible pollen grains there is germination of pollen grain and growth of pollen tube occurs which in a way later pollen tube will be guided into the embryo sac and entry of pollen tube occurs inside the ovule of ovary. Hence we can say that all the events of sexual reproduction in flowering plants starting from the deposition of pollen onto the stigma until the entry of pollen tube into the ovule are together called as pollen pistil interaction. This is a diagrammatic representation shown in your NCERT textbook. It is a longitudinal section or vertical section of your pistil showing path of pollen tube growth. This uh, top to bottom Cut section of pistil shows germination of compatible pollen grains and rejection of incompatible pollen grains. Wrong type of pollen grains are rejected and right type of pollen grain undergo germination to form pollen tube which will enter inside ovule and finally there is entering of the uh, pollen tube inside the embryo sac. So there are different step-by-step -step events occurring in pollen pistil interaction. So to discuss all these step-by-step -step events, let me show you a flowchart to make 
your understanding more clear. So you are shown with a pistol and on the pistol only the compatible pollen grains will land or will undergo successful deposition and successful recognition occurs and in a way there is germination of pollen grain starts on the stigma of pistil. Germination of pollen grain here refers to the formation of pollen tube from the pollen tube cell or vegetative cell through the germ pore. Within the pollen grains there are tiny regions where there is no deposition of sporopollenin which is making the exine and those regions where there is no deposition of sporopollenin are known as germ pores tiny holes through which there is pollen tube grows now after the germination of pollen tube there is growth of pollen tube through the tissues or cells of the style of pistil and then into the ovary and it enters into the ovule then after entering the pollen tube into the ovary inside the ovule there is a structure called embryo sac and to enter pollen tube into the embryo sac we have a structure called filiform apparatus. Filiform apparatus as shown here is a yellowish uh, as shown here I've shown it with a yellowish finger-like projection uh, finger-like uh, structure which will help the guidance of the pollen tube into the embryo sac. After guidance of pollen tube into the embryo sac then it and pollen tube enters into the embryo sac through the synergids and finally there is achievement of double fertilization occurs. Double fertilization is equal to syngamy plus triple fusion. With this there is also transfer of male gametes through the pollen tube. So whenever there is growth of pollen tube there is transfer of male gametes through the pollen tube arcus and finally the male gametes there are two male gametes produced by pollen and one of the male gamete will fuse with the central nuclei to form pen primary endosperm nucleus and one of the other uh, nuclei the other male gamete will be fertilizing with XL to form zygote. So we have different types of pollen grains according to the uh, number of cells within the pollen grains there was difference in formation of male gametes whenever there is germination of pollen tube and growth of pollen tube germination of pollen grain and growth of pollen tube occurs. So I would conclude by saying that pollen pistil interaction is a post pollination event which includes recognition of pollen grains then germination of pollen grain there is growth of pollen tube through the style ovary and enters the pollen tube into the embryo sac by guidance with the help of filiform apparatus and pollen pistil interaction usually ends with entry of pollen tube into the embryo sac or ovule and in a way there is achievement of double fertilization occurs so on the basis of number of cells within the uh, pollen grain there is little difference in transfer or uh, formation uh, or characteristic of pollen pistil interaction so usually pollen grains are formed from pollen mother cell pollen mother cell after undergoing mitosis there is formation of bicellular pollen bicellular pollen is having two cell one of the vegetative cell and the other one is generative cell generative cells will be forming male gametes so after undergoing mitosis of generative cell there is formation of tricellular pollen 
wherein there is a big vegetative cell or tube cell is present and two male gametes are generated. Now in case of tricellular pollen grains, as, they, as the pollen tube started grow, growing through the style, there is also carrying of two male gametes along with the pollen tube. But on the other hand, in case of bicellular pollen, pollen grain with two cell, there is, as the pollen tube started growing through the tissues of style and uh, ovary, there is also mitosis occurring. Generative cells will undergo mitosis to form two male gametes and finally there is production of two male gametes and we said that male gametes undergo uh, fertilization both the male gametes will undergo process of fertilization one of the male gamete will fuse with the egg cell and the other male gamete will be fusing or undergoing fertilization or combining with that of the central cell to polynuclei of central cell. So this is a diagrammatic representation shown in your NCERT textbook wherein there is a filiform apparatus which is finger-like projection helping in entry of the pollen tube or guide, guide it, filiform apparatus guide the pollen tube to enter inside the synergid cells and in a way uh, it is entering into the embryo sac and after entering the pollen tube into the synergid cell there is opening of pollen tube and release of male gametes occur so in this diagrammatic representation, representation you are shown with male gametes being discharged uh, from the synergids into the uh, first uh, by opening the pollen tube into the synergids and then from synergids there is passing of the male gametes uh, one into the egg cell and the other one will be uh, transferred to the central cell and fuse with the polar nuclei and finally there is uh, formation of there is process of double fertilization occurs and this is all about pollen pistil interaction. So pollen pistil interaction is in a way includes different events and I would conclude by saying that pollen pistil interaction is a collective term used for all the events of sexual reproduction in flowering plants. It starts from deposition of pollen grains onto the stigma and ends with entry of pollen tube into the ovule. Thank you.